ready for anything. Their demands rejected, the protesters were piling on the pressure, blocking the main gate of government headquarters. Police warned there would be serious consequences if they tried to storm the building. Target of the protesters' rage, Hong Kong's leader, Si Wai Lung. They say he's Beijing's man and has to go. We are doing a very peaceful demonstration here. New pockets of protest in other parts of Hong Kong. Tempers fraying, the demonstrators try to appease this local resident. But it's the fifth day on very little sleep and there's anger on both sides. Repassed by the police, repassed by the communist parties. That's why we fight. We have to fight very hard. Just down the road, a rival rally. Warning that the Occupy movement is damaging Hong Kong. China is rising, and they don't want China to be really going to be the, the, the great nation. And they know that Hong Kong is the one that they control. Evening at government headquarters, and the tension mounted. Students were planning more action. Expecting the riot police, they told children to leave along with anyone afraid of tear gas or rubber bullets. The front line between the police and the protesters, the police want to bring in an emergency vehicle because they fear there are going to be clashes later. Uh, but the protesters don't trust the police. They think there might be rubber bullets or tear gas inside the ambulance. And so they're discussing democracy in action, whether to let it in or not. The night was awash with anger and fear. A sudden rumour that riot police were on the way and students blocked the road. But minutes before their deadline for government action, a dramatic intervention from the chief executive himself. And I'm now appointing the uh, chief secretary to represent Hong Kong government to meet with, with the representatives of the Hong Kong Federation of Students to discuss uh, constitutional development uh, matters. After days of mass protest, the government had finally heard their voice. But the crowd was thinning out, losing momentum. And now they have to negotiate with the government, which has already said it won't meet their key demands. Carrie Gracie, BBC News, Hong Kong.